It's my bestie Tara. Shadow Babado. Boston stole your seat. Da, 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 da. You're not gonna be happy to get my stuff off. You always do this. Why you always do this? Which is soft hands. Did you miss me because I was eating? I think that's what it was. You missed me because I was eating. <sighs> Hello, everybody. This is the publicly viewable subscriber only chat live, also known as my members only. So, to interact, you have to be a subscriber on TikTok or a member on YouTube. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm coming back after for the re the other live like I was planning. We'll see. Dinner took a little longer than what I had wanted, so we shall see. Much better. Ah. Hi, boss. Come on up. Come up. I know where you're going because your bossy booty butt is what you always do. It's the bossy booty butt. The cutie bossy booty butt. The cutie bossy booty butt. The cutie bossy booty butt. Bossy booty butt. How you doing, baby girl? Uh -huh. Sweetheart. Who's going to be a sweetheart today? <laughs> her and her grumps. She doesn't really mean it. It's just how she talks, but it's funny because it sounds like she grumps. My sweet girl. Here's my sweet, sweet girl in her sweet, sweet world. My baby, sweet, sweet girl. She's going gray. I see all these little silver hairs in her shoulders. Baby girl's getting old. Yeah. It's okay, we still love you. Yes, we do. She's purring away. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't come back in the live like I was supposed to. Dinner took longer than I thought it was going to. Waitress walked around for like 20 minutes before she finally came and took my order. Just kept walking past me. It was making me so mad. I wanted to just come back and get stuff done. But dinner was good and definitely worth it. My belly's all good and full. Oh, I know. I love you too. Here's got the purrs. Here's got the purrs. Mm. 
What? He wants the snuggles. I want the snuggles too. I don't feel good. <sighs> you see Shadow jump up? He wants his spot back. You took it. He said he wants it back. Hello, hello, hello. I see you, Sour Patch. Sorry I didn't make it back for the other live between. I went to dinner and it took longer than I expected. <clears throat> Thank you for the finger hearts. Getting sleepy. I see your eyes slant shut. <sighs> My throat is absolutely on fire. I'm not amused. I did not want their colds. Not amused. I hate being sick. And I'm starting to feel it in the back of my sinuses now. My chest. Ugh. I'm messing up your hair. What you gonna do about it? I'm messing it up. You look like a gremlin. Tell me she don't look like a gremlin. Let me bust it back up. Tell me she don't look like a gremlin. <laughs> she don't want to let you see. might not go to work tomorrow. We'll see. I don't feel good. If I don't feel good now, I can only imagine how bad it's going to be in the morning. We'll see. Where's my baby? Inchy baby. Scrunchy baby. Inchy baby. He's just purring up a little storm. You know, this is the cat. This is the reason why I have all the scratch marks on my belly. This one right here. Between eating that belly and not putting them claws away and holding one like she is now. That's the problem. Let me show y'all what I mean. You see them claws? You really see it on this paw. She never puts them away. And then when she scratches me up and I get upset, she's all confused. It's so fun to smooch you there. <sighs> As per the norm, if I go about 30, 40 minutes with no chats, we will wrap it up. I'm going to give everybody a chance to come in first.
What shadow? Are you jealous? Don't look at her like that. He's not happy. Oh, you put my arm to sleep. Sorry, you put my arm to sleep. Yeah. That's not made to hold kitties. Yeah. That's my busty booty butt. That's my busty booty butt. Sweet old busty booty butt. If I gave her her choice, she would just stay here all forever. I saw that. What are you peeking at? What are you peeking at? Are you seeing if they're looking at you? She's looking right at the camera. Shadow's over there. He don't care. No claws on bare skin, please. Thank you. There. No claws on bare skin. Oops, they hurt. Hi, Miss Arden. I don't know how this is comfortable. I don't know. How is this a comfy kitty? <laughs> She's peeking at y'all again. <sighs> Surprised the baby ain't booting her yet. I don't know what you're complaining about. There ain't nothing to complain about. You gonna hang upside down now? She's so weird. It's so weird. Yes, her is. Oh, there's the baby. Hi, buddy. And she started eating him and he didn't want to hear that crap. <sighs> Where's my sweet girl? Hi, Shadow Babado. Hi, pretty boy. I'm not gonna. No, he's not coming over here. You're all right. I just wanted to pet him. He's my pretty boy. Just like you're my pretty girl. He's not gonna make you move. <laughs> Hear the grief she's giving him? All right, don't look at him then. Don't look. 
We're going to turn away. <laughs> Don't look. Look at you. Look, 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 look. Look at you. Where's Grumpy? You're drooling. That's a face of bliss right there. Absolute feline bliss right there. Oop. Shadow Babado. He's my baby boy. Shadow Babado. You don't want to hear her crap. <laughs> He's all the way over there and she's still making noise. We got about 20 more minutes. If we still don't have any chatters, I'll wrap it up. And I guess if I wrap it up, then I'll come for a little bit on an open live. I really just want to lay down now. I don't feel good. My head is starting to hurt. I have kitty hands in my hands. I don't want you to fall. Look how pretty. Do you see how pretty you are? Huh? Do you see how pretty you are? My pretty girl. even know what you're making so much noise for. You know you don't mean it. You know you don't. We both know you don't. Down. Hold up. You scoot because I'm going to get him down. Shadow Babado, you naughty boy. What are you doing being a naughty boy? Well, good job. Killed my light. That's all you succeeded in doing. Boss to return. Her such a cute pretty kitty. Basty booty butt. That shadow babado. Hi spicy. Nope. This is how most members only lives are. I tell them it's time. I tell them where to be and they don't show up. Most people would rather just DM me and do them private. And I can't say I blame them. Because when they talk, they get targeted. How you doing tonight, Miss Gigi? <sighs> I gotta contact TikTok too, because I had three new subs today. And it's not counting them now <laughs> for my goal. Welcome back, Bossy Booty Butt. What you doing, pretty girl? You don't know. Hi, 
Spicy, what are you doing? You scare yourself? Oh, poor baby. Hope they can help her. I sent the sick kitten a few weeks back to animal control because the baby was so sick. She was leaning up against the building when I went in the store, just leaning on the bricks. She was so sick, her eyes were sealed shut. Oh, At least they let the owner know. I guess they couldn't help him, huh? why I'm always scared to send sick or injured to um, animal control or to the SPCA or anything like that because I'm always afraid they're just going to put them down. Oh, I'd be having a fit if that was me. Like, I would be up there asking for names and asking for bosses because that should not have happened. Even if he was so bad that he absolutely had to be put down, she should have been contacted. I would be too. Was he injured that bad? Like, you don't have to tell me what was wrong. Just, was it, like, really that bad that you would have expected that to happen? <sighs> so it sounds like they just didn't want to deal with it. That is just 17 kinds of screwed up. You're supposed to be there to help and make sure that they're not put down. So they definitely could have helped him. Broken legs aren't that bad. They just didn't want to. We do too. I've got about five of them out front that I feed just here at my house. There's another little colony up the street there. There's another little colony down in the corner here. Everywhere you go. And you get a lot of people who drop them off here. Like, they don't want them anymore, and instead of rehoming them or taking them to a shelter, they drop them on the street. Welcome back, Bossy Booty Butt. What are you doing, beautiful girl? <laughs> Even when they're no-kill, they're allowed to do so many percent and still say they're no-kill. That's why I don't get people to take them to the shelter. I try and get them to be located privately as, as often as possible. At least something like 10% of all of the animals that come in can be put down would still be called a no-kill. <laughs> yep. I didn't know that either until Barks went no-kill and it came out they were still putting them down. They said that uh, they were allowed so many percent. Of course, injuries and sickness factor in as well but basically so long as it's within that range they're good and it's not fair 
people think that they're helping and they end up not. And there's no way for you to know. It's not like they have to advertise it. Ow. I just pulled my own damn septum ring. Ow. <coughs> Don't want the cold. I don't want to cold the boss to take it away. She's like, I don't care, just hold me. Oh, it didn't work. I can't do it. I can't purr. Yeah. I'm not blaming you. In this case, it was unavoidable. It's just not right what they did to his owner. Hey, Probable, how you doing, babe? This hat wasn't me and the kitten. I wish I didn't have to send her to Barks, but I couldn't have taken care of her. She was too sick. Just like you said, vet isn't free and she really needed medicine. Spice just came popping up. We are good. Thank you very much. He's in there rolling around now because boss is with his belly. You don't want to hear that crap. This trailer's noisy, huh? Didn't like it. I didn't like it either. Look at the pretty girl. I know, my due date's Friday. But now I got everybody's freaking cold. <sighs> I love you too, baby girl. Yes, I do. <sighs> Ouch. Look, you got him kicking me now. He thinks I'm you. I saw a pretty cool video. Yes and no. I'm ready for him, but I'm not ready to go through all this. I had my first real contractions the other day, and they were not fun. I saw a cool video the other day of a baby born from C-section, and he was still in his sack. They showed how you know they break it open and get him out. And it was pretty cool to see how they like pull their little legs in and their arm in their arms in so that they can fit in mama's belly. I had always figured they just stayed stretched out, you know. If they bent their legs, it was a little bit. I didn't realize they curl up like a little baby frog. Tuck their little knees under their chins, their little elbows against their sides. And then they showed when they popped the sack how he like, takes his first breath and pops up. It's pretty cool to see. I forget what she said it was called. I think it was something like an in-call birth or something like that. It will be worth it. I know. It kind of is, but it's kind of not. It's like this grayish, smoky, and then the fluid is like yellow and flecked with stuff. It's definitely interesting. Just like I didn't know. They kind of can, but they don't really open their eyes much in there anyway. Yeah.
Yes, I know. My doctor's been drilling it into me the last few visits. Not so much when I had the guy um, the week before last, but every time I see the woman, she has been drilling it into me. How many minutes is, is supposed to be between them before I come? What the fluid looks like and how that changes if my water breaks when I come in. If my water breaks and it's clear, I get six hours. If it's not clear immediately, if it smells bad immediately. Like there's this whole list of things to remember. The only thing I didn't ask her, and I'm going to have to ask Tuesday, if they let me go, I'm going to have to call tomorrow because I'm sick. So they don't usually want you to come when you're sick. But next appointment, I need to ask if I'm allowed to eat. Yes, any bleeding at all. If the fluid is pink or brown or smells bad. If my water breaks and I start to feel like I have a fever or he stops moving so much. Um, otherwise, when the contractions are three to five minutes apart. I thought it broke a couple weeks ago. I was mortified and then I had to come home and clean it up. Like, <laughs> so it just kept dragging it in. Like, you screwed up. But the doctor didn't like hold it over my head or anything. She just laughed when I got stressed out about it. She said it was all right. It happens to all of us. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, you're in the perfect position to do it. You ready? Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. <laughs> I can imagine so. She said only 10 to 15% of first time pregnancies, um, you actually have the water break. I do, but when I'm in pain, I can't. I don't want to be talked to. I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to see anything. I just want to be left alone. Tap, 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 tap. If I want your nerves yet. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, she says probably what they would have to do with mine, too. Grumpy kitty, grumpy kitty. You don't really mean it, though. Is your purring? You're just talking. Yeah, there's the purrs again. Here's them purrs. <sighs> I just hope he holds on to the phone gets here. Because I'm going to be able to record. Take pictures. Save memories. I miss doing my belly updates every week. And my doctor vlogs. Sleep, 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 sleep. Uh, no, I chose not to do that. I have baby daddy. That's it. And my, um, the, the nurse practitioners slash doctors I've been seeing, one of them will be there. Hopefully. So... I'll have somebody I know when I'm comfortable with. Yes, I've been at Weekly for a while now. I think this is my third one. Yeah, third one is Tuesday. I got my car seat. <laughs> I'm expected to just be mad at everybody and not want anybody around me. Not yet. Big hugs. You make me feel better. 
Now I'm getting sick. I really hope that's over before I go because that's just going to be double miserable. My whole left side of my throat, my tonsil feels like it's on fire or cut up with lemon juice in it. Every swallow, hiccup, breath hurts. Ooh. Ow. You didn't have to quite do that so hard. Oh, y'all didn't. Oh, shoot. I did go have a good dinner tonight, though. When that steak and mozzarella sticks was grand. They looked at me funny with how much food I ordered, so I sat back and they saw the belly. Then I ate almost all of it. I sent back two mozzarella sticks and one little pot of potatoes. <laughs> Out of steak, potato salad, and mozzarella sticks. I was hungry. <sighs> tap, 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 tap. Oh, hi, baby. It feels so weird when he moves now. It's almost painful. Not quite, but it's it's uncomfortable. You feel him? He's trying to boot you off. He said, stop it. <laughs> She's looking at him like, what are you doing? Yeah, he's been like that for a while. He's facing my back. So he is in prime position for delivery. She said they want him to face my spine when he comes out. If he was facing up, they would have called it sunny side up. Um. And it would have been more uncomfortable, but he's faced the right way. So now when he moves, I get to watch his butt wiggle. He like rocks and it rocks my tummy side to side. It's the funniest thing. I'm sad because I never got to see a foot or a hand. I'm too chubby, but yep, it gives bad back labor. And she said it can make it difficult for him when he comes out. He's going to try and breathe before he could try to breathe before he was ready. So he was already facing my spine at the 30, the last scan at 36 weeks, which I need to clear that up because I'm so tired of people telling me he's small. He was six pounds, two ounces at the last scan, which was 36 weeks, two weeks ago. They say they gain a pound a week. So he's closer to nine pounds off of that measurement. Now factoring in that they're usually wrong. He's probably closer to like seven, eight pounds, but we shall see. He's good. Everything's normal. So I won't get to see him again until he's born. I'm hoping that everybody's right and they're wrong. Everybody's been telling me they're two to three pounds lighter than what they say. <sighs> Holy crap. We shall see. I can't do anything. Hey, babe. He's good. How are you? It's almost time to wrap it up. I think what I might do is take a little break and then decide if I'm going to come back. 
Yes, you and me both. I cannot lay down at all. My back hurts. They don't want you laying on your back anyway, but it hurts if I lay on that. If I lay on my side, it makes my hips hurt, and then he bounces. Not so much anymore, but now he, like, tries to do like this. Um, but it definitely makes my hips and back hurt. So I have to kind of, like, sit up. But then my legs, if I leave my legs down, my ankles swell. So I have to sit up sideways with my legs up, leaned over on the cushion. It is the wonkiest, weirdest thing, but we make it. And then he wakes me up about every two to three hours. And when he wakes me up, I'm usually up about an hour. I'm scared of that. Like his heart rate dropping. He's been good and steady. He was at 144 this week. Got itchy ears. I scratch them. Yeah, bossy booty butt's itchy. That is one part of labor I'm looking forward to. I can listen to his heart rate forever. It is the sweetest sound. Although I could hear the difference in it this week. It's starting to sound more normal. I thought she was listening to my heart. And it wasn't mine. It was his. It was fast. But the cadence is more. It doesn't sound like horses galloping like it used to the same way. It's not making sense. But I'm trying to make it make sense. You can still tell the difference. It's still faster. But it doesn't. You can hear that it's starting to even out. I asked her about it because I, I thought something was wrong. She said, nope, it's just where he's at. I may need to find some throat spray to be able to come back because this really freaking hurts. We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it up at this point. And of course, if you're catching this on replay, you already know. DM me. Email me. You can get your benefits anytime privately. Just contact me. Um. Ugh. I will probably take a little break and decide if I'm going back from there. If I don't come back, I'll catch you all in the morning. If I do, it'll probably be within the hour. I'm not going out to eat. I've already eaten, so it's not going to get screwed up. <laughs> Spicy. And, uh, yeah. If you need me, you know how to get me. I appreciate y'all hanging with me. Lasty booty bite. Gonna say goodnight. Gonna say night night. <sighs> say bye bye everybody. I needed to get my hands free. I'll catch you all next live. Hope you all have a good night and don't work too hard tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow is a good Monday and an easy Monday for everybody. Hopefully. Thank you for the rose. Much love y'all. Catch you all on the next live. Have a good night, guys. <sighs> All righty, y'all. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the way out. I appreciate y'all hanging with me, even if you couldn't talk. And again, as always, you know where to get me if you need me. Much love, much thanks, and I will catch you all hopefully in a little bit. Otherwise, tomorrow. Bye, guys.